Hello and welcome to my channel. This is uh, Loving Handcrafts by BMW and this is Brenda. So today I'm going to show you how I put together this card. And um, let me just tell you about the backstory of this card. Willie is going to a wedding and Willie asked me to make a card um, for the wedding. So I said, sure, let me see what I have um, in Cricut Design Space. And um, yeah, so I made this card. Now, this card is personal to the recipients. So I won't show you the inside, but there is an inside sentiment um, that you can actually uh, either print and cut or use your Cricut pen. But um, yeah, I'm going to take you over to um, design space. So I think this turned out really darling. So here we are in Cricut design space. So as you can see, um, this is the card. Um, it was inspired, so I can't take credit for this one. I didn't design it myself. So it was inspired by another project that I found in design space. So I sort of made it my own. So let me customize it so you can kind of see um, all the pieces. Oh, I, yeah. <sighs> okay, a little bit. Uh, well, that didn't help. That was my mom. She wants to come over and do some crafting today. So <laughs> that was a phone call from her. I forgot to turn my phone off. So let me turn my ringer off really quick. There we go. That's better. Um, so, yeah. So um, let me blow this up in design space just a little bit. So this is pretty much a paper piecing um, project. Um, here's the sentiment. So it says, wishing you all the best today on your wedding day and in your life together. And um, um, there's a, um, a blank spot here that where you can add the recipient's um, name, um, you know, the couple's name. So I just kind of left that blank. Let me zoom back out. So like I said, this is pretty much a paper piecing project. Um, See, I think I got that grouped. Um, let me do this. I have learned my lesson. Let me duplicate this. And let me hide one of these. Okay. And now let me ungroup. Because it is a total beast to group this back together through all these little pieces. Make sure to ungroup. Okay, yeah. So um, this is like a, the gate. So this is like what they call the gatefold card. So um, this you would cut out using intricate um, cuts. I mean, you don't have to worry about this because it's kind of pretty big pieces. But these two, you really want to make sure that you use in, uh, intricate cut and um, as one of your settings. And so for these itty bitty flowers and um, veil, um, the bouquet that the bride's holding. So it's these green things here that you would use intricate cut as well. Um, so like I said, it's just a bunch of paper piecing projects. So the good news with this project is you get to select your colors. Um, if you have the bride's on um, groom's colors, then you can coordinate your paper and things of that nature. So Willie shared with me the um, invitation. So I was able to kind of sort of select colors that kind of matched what, what the bride and groom had selected. Um, so yeah, um, uh, let's see. So that's the card. Um, let's see if I can ungroup this other bit because I still have that grouped. I'm just clicking on ungroup. Okay. And um, hey. Maybe I grouped it back. I can't tell. 
Let me do it again. Sorry, operator error there. That's one part. That's attached. So if you were using your Cricut pen, and I don't think this is a pen setting. So I just used my print and cut setting um, before it went woo woo on me. Um, and that's your piece. And then you can see the score line with the gatefold card. I don't know. I, print and cut has been acting weird for me. I've got to call Cricut. Okay. And then um, before I move on, let me duplicate this group. This because I got it just right and I'm about to pick it apart and I don't want to do that because um, it's a pain in the behind. So let me ungroup this group. And then I got to group it again. So let's, whoever gets ungrouped. All right, so yeah, so the wedding dress, the veil is, um part of the pro project these are all grouped so um i just use some for this i just use some light gray cardstock and for the silhouette and then i use definitely use black for his suit because i think he's grouped to the groom is lord have mercy i'm not going to ungroup all of that y'all <laughs> it's crazy um so let me click on make it i thought i fixed my screen not with it today and you can see the different mats. And then I'll take you to um, where I printed it out. I'm sorry, cut it out. I'm so used to saying print, print it. Um, so yeah, so this, um, I'm going to keep white as traditional. Um, but I will be um, taking you over to where I do the... Um, embossing folder. Yeah, so this, since I didn't attach the sentiment, it prints, it's on its own, but I just wanted you to see all the different pieces. That's uh, the light gray. That's the card and all the matching corresponding items. That's the groom and the uh, shadow layer for the, for the bouquet. So, yeah, and um, when you click continue, um... For the more intricate items, I would be sure to do um, select um, cardstock for int intricate cuts. It's particularly for the this this mat because I will assure you, if you do not, you will hate yourself. Um. So yeah, and I'll um show um take you over to where I um cut this out. And then I'll meet you on the other side for assembly.
that cut um, fast forwarding cutting out. Um, and I wanted to let you know these embellishments, um, I won't be doing all of them, but I will show you the hot fix because I affixed these rhinestones using hot fix um, ele um, elements. So, yeah, just that's pretty cool. So let me bring over and I had to lay these out really carefully um, if um, because there's so many small pieces and you want to make sure that you have all of your small um, paper pieces so this oh, something on there this will be um embossed this will be embossed and this will be embossed so i will take you over there to the other side of my craft room for these little pieces to be embossed and so moral of the story be sure be absolutely sure that when you lay these out on your embossing folder that you make sure you keep the orientation correctly because there's a right and a wrong so for this item um if you emboss and i'm speaking from experience on the wrong side so i embossed on this side it wasn't pretty um <laughs> so i had to make sure i embossed on the correct side so that's that one and when I lift them up and shift them to my other um, area, I will make sure I have them all in order, just like this, because it's very, very important. So I'll meet you back on the other side of my craft room. So I'm on the other side of my craft room, back on um, my um, work surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the groom together. He's got less pieces. Oh, let me grab my glue. Get that out. So I'm using... Okay. Um, so this is the gray shadow layer. And I can see if I can bring you down a little. There we go. Um, and let me get my little. This. Yeah, and then I just want to just double check and make sure I got it. I didn't change anything like the orientation. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little. Like it looks like a, just a little square almost. So that I know where his part of his tux shirt is supposed to be. So this just requires a little dab of glue, not too much for it to come oozing out. So that's my favorite precision craft glue. And I like to work on the side. And just drop him in place. It's not a hard card to put together. And the same thing for his tie. Just a little jerk beads glue. It comes together pretty, pretty cool. And it's a really nice card. Um, that, uh, whoops. That uh, you can give a personal gift. I love making cards. Okay, so there is my man's. tie and tuxedo shirt and then the black layer you line it up so you're going to try to line it up to this part here um, whoops and so you got to make sure you have it the right way so I had his arms backwards so I'm going to dry fit it first and it kind of plays with their head um, but it, 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 it does um, work um, yeah, so you just want to put some drop, drops of glue, just not too much, just enough. Um, I'm not, you know, swirling it on. And if you think you have too much, just, um, 
use your finger to dap it up. So now what I'm doing is just making sure that I get the arm that's in this or the hand that's in this pocket lined up correctly and then everybody should pop into place like that. And because it's black cardstock, I'm using my sham to make sure I don't have any glue on my hand because black hearts the glue when it dries it dries shiny on black card stock so i'm just going to put that block on there now i can go ahead and put our lady together the last thing that i'm going to do is put together her veil um because that's going to go on top of the wedding dress oops i'm sorry i'm not done with this guy so i don't know if you, now you can probably see that detail better in that nice it's a nice little detail let me put the other half of this skirt so I don't know if you can tell but when you open the card you kind of get this look you kind of get that look try not to show there we go and because I had did this on the wrong side I had to use the deboss side not the emboss side so that's me from experience Although the debossed side isn't bad either. So one is embossed and the other is debossed. So one is raised up and one is sunken down. For the inside of the card, I wasn't really going to uh, make a big fuss about it. Okay, so back to the side. And I got glue. I'll make sure I get all that glue. And then I'm just going to line up the bottom right here. And just do the best I can. I guess I could have used the tweezers. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring it up to my face a little bit. And then you're just gonna slide it in place before you commit. And then I'm just gonna slide it down. And while you have a little bit of grace before that glue sets, you can kind of wiggle it in, in its place. Okay, now he's, you're all the way done. So this is, uh, the bodice of this is so teeny tiny. So I'm going to use the um, tweezers just as an assist. And then I'm just wiping off the glue. We'll put that sham over here. And then I'm going to turn it to the side. Learn this from Leo from Dreaming Tree. It's sometimes easier to line up when you use the side view. Oh yeah, the bodice goes in, that's pretty. And then for the wedding gown, there's this piece here that I'm gonna be matching up. Now this doesn't require the dots cause it's a big piece. So you can kind of be liberal and you want this to stick down. Since it's a pretty big piece. Oh, crumb. Okay. Don't do what I did. I always forget to do that. Crumb. Crumb, crumb, crumb. I wasn't supposed to put glue everywhere. See, I was think not thinking. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to put glue on one side. Let's see if I can wipe it up. Where it sets. I forgot. I totally forgot. You're only gonna wanna put glue on a half of this because you want the card to open. If it's got glue on, it's gonna stick. I'm just wiping glue up before it sets. Mm, I can't believe it. I do that every single time. So yeah, you only want glue <laughs> on one side. You do not want it all the way over the dress. And I almost, so thank God I didn't get too glue happy and realize my mistake. Or this would have been a disaster. But, you know, not much of a disaster. I just had to cut it out again. I would have paused and cut it back out. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, that's a rookie mistake. So, we all make them. Okay. So, yeah. See? You're only supposed to do 
one half. And I, you know what? I guess I should have turned it over. It might have worked. But before that glue sets up, I'm not happy with the placement. So I'm just going to get her placed like that. Come on, Brenda. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry if, I, if I'm not in frame. But I want this to be right. And my glue is starting to set. And I don't want to see the black. Okay. Well, you know what? If I had thought about it, I could have put glue on this side. That's a better way. Then you're assured that you won't get glue where you don't want it. <laughs> okay. Now that's a pro tip right there, y'all. That's a pro tip. That's an actual pro tip. I just thought about it when I turned her over. It's like, dang, why didn't I just put the glue on the black part? And I don't have to worry about where it is. Perfect. See? And the reason I'm all stressing out is because, yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. Yes, yes. <gasps> okay, Brenda. Phew. Just had a thought. A horrible, horrible thought. Okay, now her veil goes here. I thought I lost that. I was like, ah, no, 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 we can't have that. Okay, I don't have any problems with this, putting glue on this piece. So pro tip, rookie mistake. I can't believe I did that for the second time. So I'm going to try to line it up to this part right here. Okay, just go for it, y'all. It's just it's, <gasps> crap. I hate that I got that glue right there, but let me try to get it before it. That's what I didn't, I was hoping to avoid is the shiny part, but oh well. Most of some of it will be covered up. not going to complain and then I'll go ahead yep so um this cardstock is there's a texture side and then there's a smooth side so I um cut on the textured side so there we go nothing a little hot fix won't hot uh, yep there we go yep she's almost done now for the so now for the putting together the bouquet I had to pause there for a second okay and so for this one um, because they're the three clusters, you just want to make sure you get the clusters in the right order before you it, it, adhere it to the shadow layer. So, yeah, learn that the hard way, too. Voice of experience there. Okay. This is the last of the paper piecing and gluing. And so what your goal is to do is get an um, even border around the flowers as best you can and put those under the block block on here grab these little blocks from the local dollar store so they're not as heavy as substantial as this one but they'll work for what i'm doing okay now you can go ahead and put together the big pieces of the card so i'm gonna leave these little gates there and then I'm gonna um, place this one I left this blank for demonstration purposes so um, uh, if you had like um, some a stamp that you wanted to stamp or you could do um, use a favorite stamp that says congratulations um, if you didn't have a stamp you had if you had a word die um, certainly you can use your Cricut to cut out words or if you had a favorite die and you wanted to incorporate some, uh, use your Cricut and then some, one of your dies, your metal dies, you could do that. Um, 
stamping would work too. Um, even if you wanted to, you could go over with some, um, this area and do some ink blending and, you know, the, the sky's the limit, but I'm going to leave it like it is. And as a matter of fact, that's the textured side. Um, if you were using your Cricut pens, I would recommend doing, um, using the smooth, smoother side, but since I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do this. And just leave this blank and then you can write your own sentiment and you know i can always go back if, and put in a uh, i think i have a metal word die that i can do congratulations on so you just want to kind of get it in the center inch a somewhat even border top bottom all around and that worked and then my card folded and then I'm going to lay this flat. Um, my brain works better when it's piecing together things when I can see the crease. So this is a personal preference. Um, and then I'll do that. I'm gonna lay that. Out. And I'm not gonna use a whole lot of glue, but I'm definitely gonna get around the edge, the perimeter and do some dots i wanted to put um some hot fix crystals on some of these areas but um the gr the groom's head is in the way so i can't really do it on both sides of the card for symmetry purposes so i, I just left it off and i'm gluing my hand and my thumb but you know it'll be all right And then just, I'm just going to butt this up against the score line. And then everybody should fall into place. And I got a little ooze right there. So the other side, this is some smooth cardstock. So got a little blemish on that side. So I'm going to do the other side. And yeah, this card's come together. And the last thing I got to do is place the groom and bride on the front of the card. And this will be a done deal. I'm pretty excited about this. Willie doesn't ask me to do a lot. Um, so I try to do um, what I can. He always says, my, my requests get pushed back to the uh, backside. I'm like, yeah, I kind of do push your projects to the back. So I told him I'd make sure I get it for him because he actually needed it. And uh, he wants me to make a thank you card with our pups on there. So I'll be doing that too today. Um, gave me a picture and he says, I want a thank you card because we had to send our, we had to go to the emergency vet for Penny because she has a heart murmur and she's had some heart issues. I don't pretend to understand all of what's going on. I just know my Penny Monster is 13 years old and this is the first time she's had a serious health crisis. So it's to be expected given her age for Penny Monster. That's my little Chihuahua. Oh, whoa. Oh, what's that? Okay. Okay. No, that's just... I don't know why. It doesn't actually... But I guess it's a gate. Um, I would stick this if it's having problems, like Lane. I would put it under my um, in a book or under my on my mat. Okay. You know what I did forget? I forgot to cut out one piece. That's um, I forgot to cut out a sh extra one of these guys. I thought I did that, but anyway. I didn't. Um, I'm going to get the bride set first. So for the bride, you want to make sure that you don't have her hanging out the side. So you want to get her in. Now, where you place her is up to you, but I kind of use this as this here. And I think I did the groom first. So let me do that. Because where this is, it's 
So where this piece lands is going to dictate the how it goes. It's going to dictate... Um, so this piece is going to dictate the placement of this piece. Okay, so let's do that first. So I kind of used this as my guide since there are no real directions other than just the picture in the... Um, when the uh, Cindy did her project. So I don't want the dress hanging too far down on the card that you can't put it in the envelope. So where you place this, just using my other card as a reference. Yeah. So I put her here. I put him there. So yeah, let's just glue him down. I believe I did that rookie mistake. Still thinking about that every time I look at this card. But the next time I have to make a card for a wedding, I know exactly how to do it. Ooh, don't bend his head, Brenda. Don't chop off the groom's head. So I'm going to move him down just a little bit and get him placed right up against that. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. Because I need that. So, yeah, there he is. He's in place. So, I want this to fold over that. So, he's in place. And then now I can go ahead and place the bride. And remember, no rookie mistake, no glue on the white side, just on the black. <laughs> So that's the pro tip. That's the word of the day. What's the pro tip? That is the pro tip. And then, I don't know what that crap is. I don't know. There's always this crap on my desk. Okay, so I'm going to place this right here. And then just make sure that you can open the card. There we go. And then she's done. And then the last thing to do is do the, bou the uh, bouquet. And whoa, did I not? Well, I guess it'll be fine. Shucks, let me get that glue off there. I think it'll be fine. I'm not gonna, uh, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. And that's why I left the the bouquet off so that yeah so that I can get it placed just like that and then so remember I'm only going to put glue on this side not on the other side because of the you want the card to open you don't want to glue it shut And then I'll just line up that. Sh There's a shadow layer. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Trying to line. Okay, there we go. Still a little tacky. But hey. Yeah. Card is put together. So the last thing I'm going to do, and I'm just going to do that off camera, I'm going to use some hot fix. So when I say hot fix, so these rhinestones, um, it's called hot fix, and they have an adhesive backing. And I'm going to use these green. Just scatter them throughout the card. And I forgot to, quite frankly, I forgot to turn it on. I meant to turn it on before I started, um, press the record. So these um, are green, and there's a black backing that needs to, requires a heating element. And this hot, um, I'll put a description in the, I'll put the link to this particular item. I did purchase it from Amazon. And it comes with uh, like different attachments for different sizes, um, rhinestones. So yeah, make sure you can. Yeah, there we go. My Crafting Hero 
Miss Rita to the rescue. Shout out to Miss Rita. I hope she's feeling better. Um, used this in one of her projects and she suggested um, these are the different um, rhinestones that you can purchase. And it comes with the, I think I have the attachment. It comes with the bag. Came with the bag. Like storage bag. Nice. And it came with all the attachments for the different um, rhinestones that you get affixed to your item. So it can do for paper. You can do for, I'm assuming you can do fabric, all kinds of things. So I'm going to just lay these out. And it's tedious. So, but I'll show you what I did on this one. Move that out the way, you guys. So I'll show you here. And then this is what I forgot. I just did like this green shadow layer. Um, and it kind of looks like she's holding more bouquets. But I actually got it to work on this side. It does finish this card off. And you don't see that black. I forgot it um, to cut it. I forgot to cut out two of those. Um, but it'll all work out. And so what I did was I put a I wanted to put a rhinestone here. But his head's in the way, so I didn't bother. So I just put some on her veil and her flower on his tie to kind of just give it a little bit of sparkle since I don't have to worry about this going in the mail. Willie will just go ahead and hand deliver this, so it'll be perfect. Um, so that takes us to the end of this session. I would um, please ask you, ma'am and sir, to subscribe, comment, and share. Um, and if you like what I'm doing, just go ahead and get the word out and help my channel grow. But I will see you next time. Have a good uh, day.